was thinking, I already unboxed like 10 shoes. I might as well just show you guys all my shoes I've ever bought. I honestly don't even know where to start, so I'll just start from top to bottom. Yeezy Red Octobers, Fragment 1, Off-White Nike. White Yeezys that are actually dirty because I actually wear them. Yeezys, more Yeezys, more Yeezys, more Yeezys. Off-White Air Maxes, and more Yeezys. And one last pair of Yeezys. Versace Slippers, Off-White Air Prestos, Nikes. Green Adidas MMDs, Red Adidas MMDs, Black Adidas MMDs, Pink MMDs, Jordan Supreme 5 Collaboration, Nike Supreme Collaboration. You thought that was it for the Yeezys? More Yeezys! Fear of God, man! Break OVO Jordans. I forgot what number, like eight or something. Shoes that I don't know the name of, but they're self tying, so they're cool. Oh shit, it's blinking, Aiden. Shoes that look like just plain black shoes, but wait, let's zoom in. Sketchers, Raph Simmons, Y3 Adidas, and these are black and white, so I wore them with everything, and they're so messy. These, a lot of you YouTube young viewers probably have no idea what these are, but let's see how guys, these are sick. And these I actually got for free. Shout out Ian Connor, he's the creator of these shoes. These are mad rare, and for some reason, it reminds me of Vans. I don't know why, but it just kind of does. Gucci flip flops. And last but not least, Supreme slippers that were on my feet. But as you guys can see, I have a lot of shoes, and I just want you guys to know that I'm very thankful because I'm using my YouTube money on these shoes. But at the end of the day, they're just shoes, and I mean, people call themselves, I'm a sneakerhead, all that, but like, I'm really not even a sneakerhead. I just remember as a kid I wanted all these shoes all my friend had these shoes and I just wanted to know how it felt and now that I have all these shoes I mean I really don't feel any different I mean they're just shoes but yeah guys oh yeah and sorry for the goat that I beat up I mean the app came through this time the reason why I even use the app to begin with is because the prices really aren't that bad and the thing about them is before they ship the shoe out they check if it's real or not so none of my shit is fake because if goat sells me any fake shit I mean they lose all credibility so I mean they have to make sure everything is real but yeah if you want to buy some shoes check out the app link in the description go